Currently, the only way to add a custom destination to your web presenter is fiddling with XML. But I've made a tool to make it a little bit easier. Step one is to head over to heretorecord.com forward slash tools and you'll see this XML generator and you can use that tool. In here, I'll fill out a few details like the platform name. In my case, I'm gonna add a second YouTube platform, YouTube two, and then the stream URL I'll get from the YouTube live stream studio. I'll just press copy here, move this window out of the way, and then paste it into the tool. From here, I can set the high, medium, and low bitrate that I wanna stream from. So in my case, I like to go around, let's say six for high, I'll do four and a half for medium, and then I'll do three for low. And that's all I need to do. I can go ahead and download the XML file. Now on my desktop, I have this YouTube 2 XML file. Let's move that out of the way for a second and take a look at the web presenter setup. In here, I can go into my web presenter HD and do a load streaming settings option. I'll navigate to that file on my desktop, YouTube 2, and then open it in the software. You'll see now on the platform dropdown, I can see YouTube 2, so I can select that. And back in YouTube, I'll want to copy my stream key. Copy that, move that window, and then paste it here in the key section. Below that, I have access to my streaming high, medium, and low options that I set before. For my case, I'll stick with streaming low, press on air, and here in the Web Presenter HD monitor output, I can see the stream is running just fine. And just as a side note, I can always change the quality midstream. So I'll change the streaming high and take a look back at the monitor output. Now that I made that change, I can see the quality ramped up and I'm sending much more data to YouTube. So head over to heretorecord.com forward slash XML to get started.